everyone, I'm back with another process video and this is just another, you know, for myself kind of process video. And I'm, as you can see, <laughs> I'm working with a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, some is one canoe to uh, Creekside. Some is a collection from a company called Authentique that I only randomly find sometimes at Winners um, when I used to buy just whatever I could find. So I just happen to have some of that. The background paper is from Pink Paisley. Um, was it called Outfitters or something like that? It was uh, it was kind of like a camping type one they had maybe last year or the year before. And I just had a few papers from it. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other papers that I'm using. Oh, I'm going to use a chevron that's from Basic Gray. Um, and then that's going to be about it. So it's kind of a mixture of stuff. Uh, I'm picking stuff based on colors, and the photo that you saw there is actually from two Halloweens ago, and I just, I happen to have it printed out, and I've been trying to kind of get rid of, or I guess use up, some of the photos that I have previously printed out, but just kind of stored away and not actually used for process videos, so that's why we're some suddenly randomly doing a, um, a Halloween one in early September. Uh, but it's never too early or late to do <laughs> to do a holiday one. So as you can see, I'm just adding some watercolor. I just wanted some messiness and I wanted to bring in some of the grays and browns and yellows that uh, and even kind of some of the the uh, the greens that you're going to see in the photo. And all I'm doing here now, see that's the back side of that one, which was originally why I bought this paper, but the front side ended up working really well. There's little tiny orange and yellow and green triangles. So all I'm doing right now is just backing my paper with other paper and that's just because there's a little bit of the water, there was just a little bit too much water going on on top of <laughs> the paper and I was really worried that it would rip. So I just wanted a bit of a um, I just wanted some strength in the back there. So I cut apart this sheet from the Creekside collection and it just had a bunch of, I think it was a bunch of four by six cards and they just said different things. There's one that says adventure awaits that I think I'm going to use eventually. And this one said wild and free and it had the, the black and white and gradient and the shadows. And I just thought it'd be really cool along with what I'm, what I'm doing here. And I'm mixing and matching just kind of vintage, uh, rough kind of looking papers along with some Halloween type stuff that you'll see here in a bit because this is from Halloween. This was um, 2015 <laughs> and they both wanted to be werewolves and I actually made their costumes for this. So I made these um, head hoods with ears out of fun fur and um, made little paws and my son's jeans have rips in them with the fur coming out and then I made them tails and stuff like that so they didn't have any face painting because they didn't want any of that kind of stuff so they, and then they were just right re wearing regular clothes um, completely random thing to know <laughs> this was the year my son my my old my youngest was born and he was born on, on October 29th. Um, we thought he was going to be born on October 28th because that was the day I got induced. And it didn't end up working that way. And he wasn't born until the 29th. So he was born like that afternoon. I went home. Um, I went home on October 30th. And these costumes weren't done. <laughs> uh, and on October 31st, I, I didn't have a sewing machine at this time. So I hand-stitched everything and I made these costumes for them uh, two days after my son was born when he was a newborn home with us I like made the hospital let me go <laughs> um, a little bit earlier than they were thinking of uh, because I was just like I gotta go home I have costumes that have to get made my kids want to go out trick-or-treating um, this is like the first year that was the first year I ever made costumes for them and uh, it was really interesting, uh, but they got made. It was it was stressful, but they they did get made. 
they went out trick-or-treating. I stayed home with Reese since he was like a day and a half old. Um, and yeah, uh, my husband took them out trick-or-treating and, uh, it was definitely a memorable Halloween. <laughs> so there's a, there's a story behind this photo. And um, I have other photos from the same Halloween. So I know that I will be putting a story to it. And I'll probably do a bit of one of those kind of Project Life type pages um, with photos and the story. So I'm not worried about putting the story on this particular layout, if you know what I mean. Uh, the green paper there is from Creekside and it's just trees and I just thought it was cute and I wanted to add in a bit of a different color going on. I'm just not really sure where I'm going to place any of this stuff. Um, you saw me rip up a whole bunch of papers to back my photo and my Project Life card and I made sure that they were really torn and ragged looking. I just thought that would help with the overall kind of look to it. Um, and I love that chevron on the top and the bottom. I think it works out really well. So here's where I'm going to do a bit of embellishing. This is a very light page. There's not a ton of embellishing going on. Um, but I am mostly going to embellish with either fall collection items or Halloween. Um, I have some of the, that, that star sticker you see me playing with there that's wood is from a new Jen Hadfield, I think, line. Um, I think it's the new, a new one. I, or it could be an old one that I just happened to order from Paper Issues. But uh, it had like, tur not turkeys, it had chickens and, and uh, like a cow skull and stuff like that. But I just wanted the little star in there. Leave the other ones for more of ha um, fall inspired stuff. So I'm kind of trying to add stuff that's not going to overpower anything because I've got those car I've got that card there and it's kind of large and doesn't really need anything else with it but um, I'm finding little things that say like costumes and stuff like that and I find that it's really I really like it I really like how it is um, how it matches with it so I keep keep kind of grabbing it uh, that little banner is actually from the Journey Collection from Crate Paper uh, from a few years ago and I was like oh that's really cute so let's go like let's go trick-or-treating <laughs> kind of thing so I thought that that worked really well um, that little tag says ghosts and goblins I think and I'm just kind of gonna embellish a little at the top a little at the bottom bring some green in on different places now my only thing is the let's go was um, had gold all around it so I feel like I need gold somewhere else and I need something in that top corner. So I'm going to take this piece that's the piece between two different frames. So it's not actually meant to be a decoration, but I'm going to use it as a decoration up towards the top. And you'll see I'm going to do a little bit of stuff with it towards the end. I'm going to fill it with some uh, chipboard and then I'm going to take some twine and wrap it around it. And I'm going to do that with... Uh, the let's go down at the bottom too. I'm going to wrap it in twine. And uh, the other thing is, I, I was like, okay, well, that's wrapped in twine. Is there anything else I want to do? And then I remembered on my desk, like I was looking at it, was this pack of four like resin um, pendants that I had bought. I need to go buy more of them because they're from Michaels. And I was going to make earrings out of them. I have two left, but I want to get the other two now. I used two of them and they're black and they were <laughs> like total Halloween spooky looking pendants but they're from the regular stock in the jewelry section and I just loved them and I just thought they would look so cool tied to the um tied to the twine so I am gonna do that as you can see I'm just kind of playing around with some other products and just you know trying to bring in some other colors so that's not too, too, like, too much of just the same, like, three colors. I want a little bit more. And I made sure to bring in, like, a plaid from, to, to kind of go with his shirt and brought in some green and different yellows and stuff. And if you hear stuff, I apologize. My husband's out in the other room cleaning. He's kind of making a bit of a, a lot of noise and probably a mess. 
going to have to go see what he's doing here soon. But <laughs> anyway, so, so it's weird to have this combination of this fall stuff along and, and very outdoorsy. And then I combined it with like Halloween stuff, but I don't know. I like how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I didn't want to go too, too Halloween-y, I guess would be the term um, for it. Oh, and I'm going to add some black ink too, because, yeah, why not? <laughs> I just thought it would look cool. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of all over the place, but it's really neat. Uh, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out because it's just, it's Halloween without being just orange and black and, and typical Halloween stuff. So you can see those, the resin things there. And that's when I was like, oh, wait, I could just tie it to this. And then I don't have to worry about trying to stick it down. Um, brilliant. So I used the hand and then I think I grab another one and it's like a, the, the chest of a skeleton. So I still have like a heart and the like bird skull to make some earrings, but I'm going to have to get some more cause I want to make more earrings. But, uh, yeah, besides the title, which I'm going to eventually put right above the let's go and I'm going to use these gray old October afternoon kind of country looking ones um and that's because I just wanted to do like a tone on tone effect and you don't see it um I think I was off camera or my phone stopped filming but um I originally tried to go with a lighter color of gray and I wanted to write well my pack is what I wanted to write and that didn't work because I didn't have the right stuff, but I had enough to write pack. So then I was like, okay, well, I'll write wolf pack, except I didn't have an O. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll write the pack. And I'll use like small letters to do the the. And because this is a dark gray and I put it over top a dark gray, I wanted to continue that tone on tone effect. And I don't end up doing that right away. And so they do get ripped off off camera and replaced with. Um, ones that are a little bit more in the gray. Like I, you can see I'm filling around now, but they do end up beside that trick or treat tag and right above the let's go um, thing. And I thought that was, it's really neat because it's kind of hidden in a way, um, but I still got my title in it. It doesn't, it's not too obvious or anything like that. So I'm definitely happy with how that turned out. And besides finishing it off with the little uh, little stickers, which you don't actually see me put the right ones on. You see me put on ones that I do eventually rip off. That is about it. Um, thank you guys so much for um, sticking with me, for watching my videos, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing, for um, all my patrons that are helping me out. I really appreciate you guys are helping me be able to continue to do this and to be at home with my little guy while I'm trying to do this uh, and helping me in trying to get some other um, scrappy ventures off the ground and that are really important to me because I'm really trying to start a bit of a scrappy business. Yay! So anyway, um, yeah, I love you guys and I will see you all in the next video. I have no clue when this video is going to run out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bye.